guys. I am an inspired individual. And when I say that, I mean I get these huge random bursts of inspiration to do something and then I try to do it and I can't or I just never do it. I am constantly being inspired but <laughs> I always reach the point of just I can't do what I actually want to do because I just don't have the skill in that thing. Side note is that I don't have makeup on and I need to have makeup on but I kinda wanted to make this video so I'm just gonna like put on my makeup as I talk. So I'm sorry about that but this is what we're gonna do. So this is gonna be like a weird non-tutorial makeup video <laughs> as I talk about my life. Anyway, I am constantly getting inspired to do things which I never do or I do them very poorly. I was uh, inspired a little while ago to write a rap. <laughs> I It was really bad. I wrote it and oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I liked the topic of it, but it was so poorly done. Uh, I mean, I've written songs. I've written like 50 some poems, honestly. I, I write poetry a lot. I've tried writing books. Um, I do other random art things and the crazy thing is is that I get inspired to do like so much more that I don't even attempt to do like um, oh I don't know like skateboarding normally like physical activities that I'm really bad at so like I'll be like oh I'm gonna totally do this someday and then you know obviously I never do because I'm I don't do sports um, <laughs> but I get super inspired to do all sorts of things. Um, this YouTube channel, for example, I was inspired in like 2015 to start a YouTube channel and I never did. Um, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, like I've always wanted to just sit in front of a camera and just talk about life and, and make decent videos, which is not really what's happening right now. Um, but, you know, I'm trying. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. I think it would be really fun to have one that's like super successful, but it's just a little bit unrealistic for me to expect to be good at something that I don't have A, the resources, B, the skills, and uh, C, the time for. Uh, which is why this is the YouTube channel that I am able to afford and have the time for. foundation here but since I'm such an inspired person um, and because I get so much inspiration all the time to do random things uh, I do end up doing some of those random things but it's usually like I'll have these random things in my head for like a really long time and then I'll eventually do it. And those are the ones that are actually successful for some reason. For example, I had a painting idea in my head for about, I don't know, I think it was like a solid year or two. And eventually I finally did it and it was actually really good. But one of those moments where it's like, wow, I was actually successful in my inspiration. And usually when I have inspired paintings, they do not turn out the way that I want them to. Uh, but that time it did. So I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but I guess when like I get inspirations, I tend to be more successful if I wait on it and do it eventually. And I don't really like that about myself because honestly, I don't know if I would be successful if I just did it right off the bat because I do that so rarely. Um, I mean, like, I have done that, and usually they end up badly, but it's because I'm doing things that I know I'm not going to be successful at, you know? Like, writing a rap or writing a song, for instance. Like, I know I'm not good at that. I I accept that. But, you know, it's one of those things that you get in your head and you just kind of have to get out, so you just do it. With other things, I'm really kind of starting to wonder if, like, maybe, maybe I need to push myself more. 
Maybe when I get these inspirations, I need to just do them and not be afraid to fail and just, just do them because how will I ever know if I'm good <laughs> if I don't? And clearly, I'm not saying that I'm a prodigy in the waiting and I just need to go out and do everything that I'm inspired to do and then I'll be the most successful person in the world. No. <laughs> but what I am saying is I tend to just get scared and, and not try. And that's not something that I'm super proud of. That's not something that I want to be. So, I don't know. It just kind of like came up to me that this is something that I do in my life. My little brother. He is extremely talented at being inspired to do something, going out and trying to do it, and then doing it until he's successful, and then he moves on to the next thing. He's definitely the type who sticks it out until he's good at it. And that's something that I have never done. Uh, I tend to have a little bit of the tendency to find, like randomly find things that I'm actually good at, um, have a little bit of talent in the area, and then when I reach the point of like, oh, this is where my talent limit stops and I'd actually have to improve myself, then I quit. That's how I've worked a lot in my past. That's something that I've been getting over, but it's definitely something that I think still holds me back a lot. Because if I'm not good at something right away, then it's not easy and I don't want to do it. Uh, so instead of running away, from all my inspirations and pretending like I, uh, I don't know, pretending like I can't actually improve myself because I'm not good at it right away, I think I'm, I'm challenging myself right now to invest in myself, like put in the effort to do things. Um, that's why this, this YouTube channel in and of itself is kind of a challenge because it is so easy for me to forget that it exists. It's so easy for me to be like, well, you know, this is really just for me. I don't even really care. Like, why am I doing this? And like, honestly, I'm doing it because it does, well, one, it, it makes me think about my life because I have to talk it out loud to a camera. But also it, it uh, helps me on so many levels of like commitment of like, choosing to do something and actually doing it. Um, like, making this video. Even though <laughs> I could be doing other things, I've chosen to have a YouTube channel. I've chosen to try and make videos every once in a while. And I want to, uh, I wanted to talk about this, so I chose to do this in the time frame that I had, which was during when I put on my makeup. Back to the point of being inspired. I guess I have always been inspired by my little brother that he just does things and he does them until he's good. He sticks with things and he finds the passion to get through the hard steps of the process of learning something new. And uh, I guess I give up a lot. So I don't want to give up. Like this year, this is the year that I'm going to stick to things and be, uh, now I want to be realistic about this. I am clearly not going to instantly become my brother and I don't even want to become him. He has had so many hobbies, it's hard to keep track of what he has done. But that's not a bad thing. But I know I can't work like that. I would much rather pick one or two things and focus on them and become better at them. Um, honestly, that's kind of something that I've done with like my fashion sense and my makeup. This is not, <laughs> I'm not showing this right now, but I have actually tried to improve how I look because I've tried. Like um, one school year, not school year, one quarter in college, I decided to um, have a different outfit every single day. And that was actually like the start of kind of how I've been challenging myself this year because it
It was actually difficult at some times. To wake up in the morning, I'd have to get up early, um, because I also, you know, if I'm picking out an outfit, I'm clearly going to be doing my makeup nice as well. And to do it really nice takes like about a half an hour or so. So to get up, pick out an outfit, one that I haven't worn before, so I actually have to think about it, and then do my makeup and look presentable to the world by, I don't know, 8 o'clock when I had to leave. And that's, that was a challenge that I actually met. So, I think that I am going to challenge myself to continue to challenge myself. And so, um, now that I'm graduated, I'm officially graduated, by the way, I really want to kind of maybe invest into this channel a little bit more. I'm not going to make any promises. I know that a lot of other things that I do want to invest in will probably take a lot of time and I'm not going to have a super ton of time this summer because I'm also going to be trying to do other things just in my life. But this channel is something that I have fun with and that I would really like to continue to have fun with but also invest into a little bit. Maybe try. So there you have it, my 12 minute makeup routine and my talk about how my life is inspiring <laughs> and how I get inspired to do things and how I don't do things or do do things. I don't know, I'm just rambling at this point. Thanks for listening. Honestly, you know, do a self-evaluation. Find areas in your life that maybe you're uh, ignoring or find something that you're scared to do and just, just do it. Like, don't hold yourself back simply because that's how you've always been. There's nothing wrong with trying to change yourself, and there's nothing wrong with being a little bit bad at something. Honestly. I think that's what's held me back a lot, is the fact that I'm kind of a perfectionist, and so if I can't do something super well, I don't want to try to improve that. And really, I think that's a lot of what has kept me from following my inspirations for so, so much of this stuff because I, I, when I try to look into it, I realize that I am not going to be good at this right away and so I, I get scared of it. So this is my uh, little message to you. Go and follow that scary thing and push through it. See what happens. You'll never know until you try and even if you fail, then you can try again. Or, if you really hate it, you can move on to something else. And since you've already gotten past that scary point, you know, what is it to try again? So, thanks for listening. I know this was really long, but it was fun. Okay, bye.